Hello, welcome to the fourth dimension. My name is Maria. I'm your Sherpa for this read. This message is for Capricorn. What's going on for Cap this week? Spirit. On the floor it goes. Let's find it. Let's find out what's happening. You're using your intuition. Might be dealing with an air sign. What's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? Something to do with pets. <laughs> Random. And somebody might be telling you they're pregnant. Okay. Well, pregnancy's uh, definitely in the works. What else is happening? Uh, I got divorce, challenges, and vacation me up. All right. So any of those things could be in your vicinity. I definitely think that intuition is a, like a huge play for you. It says the red flags you ignore now will become will come back to bite you. I have air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that might be in relation to one of those signs. A pet, you might be getting a new pet, giving a, new, uh, giving a current pet more love. Uh, maybe you're finding out one of your pets are struggling, right? And you need to get them uh, some additional care pregnancy as someone is expecting. So let's find out what's going on. I have a queen of pentacles on the board. I'm going to move these up a little bit. Give us some room here. Queen of pentacles. First of the five. Excuse me. Hang in there. <laughs> Tell me more. Okay, I got quite a few more coming out for Aquarius. Ace of swords in the reverse. Somebody could be spying on you. Uh, it's also self-destruction, chaos, somebody you dealt with is uh, short or lacking clarity, not short in stature. They might be, but I feel like it's more of you can't see their, their hand in front of their face. They act impulsively. They don't see the bigger picture. Tell me more for Cap. I have a four of wands under the spying card. Um, the page of wands right under the eight of wands or eight of swords. Tell me more. Future energy, I have the sun and the high priestess in reverse. That's probably why you got the intuition coming up as something you need to spend your attention on uh, this week. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. The lovers in the reverse. Eight of Wands in the upright. Current energy. Future energy. Seven of Swords in the reverse. That's a good sign. All right, and the tower in the reverse. And, wah, wah, wah. and then we have the page of pentacles or the ace of pentacles in the reverse. Woo, lots of reversal. Queen of pentacles is in the upright. This is your energy. So you can kind of see what's happening here. This is your energy right here. This is your spread. I have the queen of pentacles. This is the overall energy for the week. The, um, the first one out is spirit is saying, you're solid, you are content, you are deriving um, historically you are the like the anchor in this read you have depth uh, you're prosperous you know pros you have prosperity and you're prosperous in anything you touch right uh, you kind of got um, you're kind-hearted truthful honest and anything you invest in is is in you know it's it's genuine you want to genuinely invest in relationships the three of wands underneath this and the eight of pentacles is you're not moving forward and not investing in something and that's your most recent past that is your overall energy is this not going forward on this brand new opportunity somebody's offering could be a job could be um a relationship you're finding out secrets right behind that. Um, secrets are coming out and it doesn't mean secrets. It can just be more to the story. You're finding out more information, but that's, you know, spirit's way of kind of giving me some insight as to why you're not moving forward as you find out some stuff that didn't work out in the better interest of this plan, this strategy, this hope you had, it kind of dissipated and you didn't move forward. Ace of Swords in the reverse is that uh, self-destruction chaos, um, you know, not being completely pure in somebody's response and the lovers in reverse. So you might have figured something out about an ex-partner that's coming to light, maybe, that they weren't genuine in their dealings, right? And it came out. Um, this is an ex-partner, somebody you did have commitment with. And now you're realizing that this lover's card um, is the divine saying, we're shredding this contract. This was a um, 
it's kind of like in the upright, it's a major arcana. It's these two people have been chosen. It's the same folks. I can show you the lovers as best as I can. Uh, right here. Okay. Well, same folks in the devil card. And it's the same folks essentially in the two of cups. So these two individuals on their journey were hand chosen to go together. Well, something happened and now it dissipated. And it was the beginning of a union that never got off the ground. It stopped at the four and it's shredded. Again, this energy is in the past. Current energy, eight of, eight of swords. You are up in your head. Somebody's up in their head. It might not be you. Full of anxiety. Somebody is going to want to come forward, have a conversation about this relationship. And the information or the messaging might come in very fast. And it's almost with an intensity. It could be lots of texts. It could be almost angry, like I need to have a conversation with Cap or Cap. Maybe you're the one who rushing in to have this conversation to rectify things, but that's the current energy or most recent past, maybe going forward, you know, you're going to have this conversation um, where there's a hidden motive. You know, you find that this, this relationship, this person wasn't giving to it. Not, they weren't meeting and matching your level of queen of pentacles. They're more like a page. So a queen and a page don't typically hang out together and they're providing the least amount of, of um, effort, you know, and they're the page of wands, you're the queen of pentacles, right? So they're, they're providing the least amount of effort and you're bringing your A game. This is holding back. This is somebody stifling their feelings or emotions, not giving you full credit, full due, full effort, full reimbursement, right? For what you've been putting into this relationship. The center of this energy is deceit and it's coming out. That's kind of possibly the secrets you're finding out. Uh, it's a revelation, freedom, truth, uh, where this and the upright, there's only one card in all the tarot that says deceit. It's this one. Sometimes it can be um, outright, a lie, um, a fictitious mask. This feels more like hidden. I had a motive. It's coming, now it's coming out to play, but I didn't want anybody to know I had a motive. Right? Um, and the high priestess in the reverse actually means hidden motive. I think that's ironic because I didn't even know that was there, right there, hidden motive. So it's just spirit saying two different ways. You can't, you, you are correct in trusting your intuition, right? That maybe somebody else is pregnant. <laughs> maybe this air sign is cat because you're not an air sign. Um, maybe somebody else is pregnant. You're trusting your intuition. I'm not sure, but you put a pause on this and rightfully so, right? You, you pump the brakes here. Um, I have the justice card, the sun and the tower in reverse. These are huge major arcana cards, all three. Um, that's huge. This person I feel um, is trapped in their old ways. The, the games that they play um, didn't, doesn't work anymore and you caught on to them I feel, Cap, and you called their crap out sometime in the past. You are happy. And this is justice. They are miserable. I don't know what else to say. So they're in a space where um, this is like trapped. They feel trapped in this relationship because they got this person pregnant maybe. Um, maybe they have a pet. Maybe they now have a joint pet. Shoot, I don't know. I don't. Maybe their pet's pregnant. I don't know. I'm making this up now because I don't know who's pregnant because a lot of you folks, it may not resonate. So I'm going to go ahead and clarify. I do want to keep the moon out, right? And they might want to come back and have a conversation with you about um, restarting this because they feel like they passed you up and they made a mistake. They chose incorrectly. This is crazy. Okay, so Kat, that's just your base energy. Let's go and find out what you're dealing with. Tell me about Capricorn this week. What have they been dealing with? Lots of options. <laughs> Sorry about this. Uh, we got lots of options. They had a lot of options. Maybe that's what's coming to light is that you found out this person wasn't loyal. This person wouldn't know how to be loyal. You know, they struggled. I have the seven of pentacles in the reverse. You aren't going to give to this anymore. You're saying, look at that. I put in all these pentacles and they're like, yes, I miss those pentacles. I would love to come back and entertain. We can't let this go. Look at all the years that we put in. And you're like, yeah, but I'm the one who like, I'm, those are mine. I put those in and they're like, yeah, but I want to come and take from that pile again. And you're like, I don't think so. No, <laughs> that's the vibe I get. Tell me more. All right. I'm going to turn this back around. I also had several more. Um, this is an upright deck. Okay. And these are literally flying out in the reverse. So I have, can't make this up. 
They're miserable. They're miserable. They might come out with a self-pity, kind of like argumentative. I think I said that. They might want to come in and have an argument about you walking away and why would you walk away? And we've invested so much into this, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, dude, I, or female or whomever, skin suit, don't care. It's more like I'm standing up for myself. I have the energy of, whoa, 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 whoa. Take a step back. Let's look at what you're saying. Let's unpack that a second. You walked away from me. You walked away from me to find your happiness. Remember that? You walked away. Now you're coming back because you made a mistake. I can't make this up. It's pretty simple. It's like I said, pretty simple recap. Tell me more. I think you are the sun. You, I not only did this justice give you some kind of closure, right? But I also feel, tell me more about this nine. You felt this, this was like, you sat in a sense of self, I want to say a space of self-reflection going, where, where did I miss the sign? Where did I, you know, not see it? Yeah, they are in the nine of swords reverse about the sun or the star, excuse me. This is you or the star, you were wish fulfillment. And um, they feel like this decision's been made, you know, they can't find help. They feel helpless, hopeless. That's that nine of swords in the reverse. And you're the, you're the star card, and this is the death rebirth. You put an ending to this. I'm surprised I don't see a world out here. And I feel like this week you might be doing it again. They're going to go in the hermit mode. They're going to try to identify. Because you're going to say some harsh truths, I think, to this person. The queen of pentacles is stable, and you might just say no, thank you. I just saw something fly out. Hold on. These are all out. Hermit was out. Ace of wands in the reverse. You're going to say no thank you to this wonderful opportunity to start this. It's a false start. Uh, it's cancellation. It, they're going to come out maybe saying this was a complete misunderstanding. Cap, they might say, oh, you misunderstand me. Nothing irritates me more when I hear that, Cap, is they don't take ownership, right? They're not taking ownership for their actions. They're like, oh, you misunderstood me. And you're like, mm, I don't think so. I don't think, I don't think that last text uh, was um, confusing. Again, I got the four of cups. In the upright, you're, I think this is you now bypassing it because it's not in the reverse. You're saying no thank you. So before I feel maybe they somehow didn't accept you, and I'm using that in quotes because I don't think this person commits to anybody. I really, really don't. I just think they tell people the right things, say people say the right things to people, but portray a singlehood. But I don't think they're, they're constantly single, but with everybody. You know what I mean? Like they're in multiple committed relationships. So that's that seven of um, cups I get. So this is the Hierophant. This is, uh, you're teaching morality. You're teaching integrity. You're teaching um, kindness through divine wisdom, a sense of fair, just, moral, like what's right. Cap, you're, you're trying to say, listen, um, teach their own, live and let live. However, I'm not going to partake. I, I choose to stay out of that. And that's the vibe I get. I swear this is coming off so, so clean. This is a clean reading. I have the Empress in reverse and I have the Queen of Cups in upright. So the Empress in reverse doesn't necessarily mean the human. I think the person that they chose, the Empress, is now in reverse. They're not happy with their choice. She was supposed, because the Empress in the upright, okay, is very self-confident. They go out, they run four different kingdoms. They have 19 plates spinning on any given day. They manage thousands of staff, right, in these kingdoms. They, they're on their A-game most times. Very few things rattle an Empress, very few. And this, this empress that they thought that they were leaving you for is now in the reverse, lazy, independent, needy, under their foot, looking for validation in everything they do. Not confident, mm -mm, not sexy, mm -mm. you're now the queen of cups. Look at that. Now they, they're leaving this empress in reverse to come find their kindergarten queen because you were nurturing and loving and kind and nobody matched your energy, Cap. Of course, you know, look at you. You're the Capricorn. You're the mommy of the entire zodiac. And I say that with complete respect, the mother. So the mother is like the queen of cups is the same kindergarten teacher vibe is loving, kind, nurturing, giving like every single cap I am friends with embodies similar traits. I don't, I don't find a dirty one out of them. Mm -mm, they do not have a vicious bone. They don't have a narcissistic bone. They don't have any tendencies to hurt somebody just for the fun of it, where I think this empress in the reverse is super insecure 
super needy, super, I, you know, like needs to find validation and buy stuff and, you know, flaunts ego and titles and I don't know, some, some look at me vibes. Look at me, look at me. <laughs> so, you know, like, what? No, no. So whoever this is is kind of tired of it, Cap. They're tired of that. Mm -mm. And they're like, man, I kind of, I kind of miss my cap. The FOMO, fear of missing out. This is you in recovery. So when you chose to leave this, whenever that was, it could have been a year ago, could have been a week ago, doesn't matter. Um, you started recovering. That's what this means. You started recovering and they have a fear of missing out in the upright, fear of missing out. They want, this has already happened. This is in the past. It can't hurt you anymore. There's no energy here on this table that can hurt you. You're the queen of pentacles. You're the pre-empress. You're rising. And the only way to go from the pre-empress to the empress is through an offer from an emperor, right? And you are looking for that emperor. You are very much in control of your life. You are the CEO and you're running it very well. You may not feel like it some days. Don't worry about it. We all feel like that. But for the most part, you're managing and you're managing really well. You're making strides. You're moving forward in a lot of areas. Good job. Keep going. And I have that five of pentacles in the reverse, which is recovery. It could be a financial uh, windfall that you're going to be experiencing. So please buy a lottery ticket. I feel like that's coming up for a lot of you. It could be inheritance or you're waiting on that loan or that check to come through. Um, but I do feel like there's, it's going to keep coming in. It's like the figure eight. So whatever this financial windfall is, it's like um, the, the wheel of fortune is consistently moving forward. I don't see a fool out here. I don't see anybody going into a new process, a new avenue. And again, you could have been in multiple relationships, but you were energetically tied to this person. They injured that feeling that you had and you're healing from it. So you've released it. You've let it go. And the Queen of Swords is going to be here. That's you during this conversation cap. Um, whatever this person even, and they know this, they know they owe you an amends and I believe they'll start it. I don't think they're going to owe or own the entire issue. And that's if they've elevated enough to come forward. If they haven't done the work, they're not going to come forward. So I know that all y'all that are messaging about, oh, you know, it's been three years. Sometimes it takes 10. They show up literally um, years and years later if they've done the elevation because there is no timeline, you know, in the in the world of uh, universe. There is no timeline. It's all a blink of an eye. Here's that Wheel of Fortune I'm just talking about. Boom, right here. And you are the Nine of Cups. You are moving forward. You are your own happy ending. You have enjoyed every single moment past the acceptance of healing. You've, you've not given up on the human, but you've given up on the resentment. How about that? You've let go of the resentment. And you learned from it, which has helped you embody this queen of swords i think historically you would have allowed this and accepted this and said it's okay baby i understand you know mm -mm, not today this is not the energy <laughs> that is on this board today so this is what your week is looking like cap expect that text i think it'll be a text it'll be somebody just checking the water seeing how you're doing i had number 12 for you it says creativity <laughs> is a uh is that right? Is a driving force. Yes. In your life, your imagination is rich. I hate the font on these. I'm so sorry. I'm going to need my glasses. Your imagination is rich and you are able to express your feelings and insights in unique ways that others can benefit from. I am a visionary. So a couple of vibes come off this. We just said that years ago, you may not have had a voice. You have a voice. Now that voice might not come out as direct in the face of that king of swords or the queen of swords or the human that you're talking to on the other side of this conversation, it doesn't matter. Yours might be journaling, writing, inspiring people, posting things on Insta or Tiki Taki or whatever. It might be through music. It might be through drawing and painting and dance. It could be, oh my goodness, it could be a million things, but you've taken all that pain and morphed it and you're sending it out to the collective. You're sending this energy back out in a positive way to help heal others. And this, by doing this, heals you. That's the coolest thing. So as you've healed from this situation, this whatever it was, because um, it doesn't matter what it was, it fell apart and it couldn't go back the way it, it was to begin with. It was broken to begin with, but it woke you up 
and you've been on this wonderful wheel for a minute and it's not gonna stop. It's not gonna stop, Cap. It's gonna, keep, it's gonna continue going for, for several months. You might have a couple of bumps in the road. You might have um, some challenges, especially this pregnancy and new pets or, or changes in your pet's health um, or with this brand new air sign. So now um, the vibe I actually got off this air sign for a handful of you, is you might be, if you're single, you might be meeting an air sign, an Aquarius. A Gemini, yeah, and uh, I think I'm, I'm kind of excited for you, I think. I, I think I am, especially Libras too. They're very, that's, it's very exciting. This, it seems very passionate. So you might meet one and get pregnant. Not me, no thank you, I'm fine. I want grand puppies, that's what I want. Um, okay, Cap, that is, that is, I feel like all the messages I can get to you right now. I don't feel like there's anything else going through. Lastly, I am giving away five free drawings uh, for free readings. Five free drawings. It's been a long morning already. Free readings, five of them. June, the week of like June 10th, I'm going to pull the names. If you're new, if you're a subscriber, thank you so, so, so much for subscribing. It helps my channel grow, which is why I'm giving away the readings. But more importantly, it's a, it's a gratitude giveaway. Um, I want to give back to all the amazing support you all have given me in this uh, journey so far. Um, I just, I can't get over it. I can't, I just can't get over it that I'm doing this right now and that you all are supporting me and the messages I'm doing. I know I'm weird, mm -hmm, for sure. I'm not your typical reader. <laughs> There's not a lot of Disney in what I provide, but um, I will be truthful and authentic with you every step of the way. And thank you for your trust in me. If you feel like this is your vibe and you feel like you want to subscribe, please hit that notification bell so you're notified of when I upload new content. That's always nice. Lastly, um, uh, if you want a free read or if you want a reading, if this resonated with you and you don't want to take the risk and be one of the five, um, feel free to email me at fourthdimensiontarot at gmail.com and we'll get you on the schedule to have a, a reading this maybe even next week. I have, I have some spaces left. So until Wednesday's uh, midweek pulse, love and light teaching everyone you caps. Take care.